Here's my process and how I created a resin light sculpture using jellyfish. Before we could start, we had to prepare the squid. So I'm using the three inch thick pour. My mold is three inches wide by 10 inches long. Always make sure to follow instructions and measure and stir according to the resin that you want to use for your project. Because I don't want my jellyfish to float, I'm gonna split this mold into two pours. So my very first pour, I'm just popping some bubbles and I'm gonna layer my jellyfish in where I want them and I'm gonna let this resin set before I do my next pour. With the deep pour resin, we have plenty of time to work. So I'm gonna take my time and make sure my jellyfish are placed exactly where I want them. Before this layer sets, I placed my LED lights, my sparkles, and my resin crystals at the bottom, and then I can let it set and start the next layer. I let the resin set for approximately a week, and now it's time for the second layer. So I'm back to my three inch thick pour, mixing and getting it ready. Because my first layer has my jellyfish and my lights all set in where I want them, this next layer is just basically going to top it up and finish the tower off. LED lights work really well in epoxy resin. For this project, I chose the purple ones. I can't wait to see when it's done. I'm using my heat gun to pop some bubbles and now I'm gonna just add another layer of sparkles to this beautiful jellyfish light sculpture. Now it's time for the reveal. I'm gonna peel off the silicone mold off my jellyfish light tower. And now I see it for the first time. I love the clarity. I love where the jellyfish are and boy do I love those purple lights. I hope you enjoyed my process on how I made my jellyfish light tower and I hope you're inspired to try and make your very own.